channel, my name is Sila Janela. I'm the girl, the girl is me. It's me, it's me, it's me. Welcome back, guys. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well today. Um, I thought, you know, for today's video, I thought, why not? Let me give you guys an updated version on how I edit my YouTube videos by using the app Flamora Go. Um, if you guys are a loyal subscriber, if you have been here before you would know that um, I did a similar video quite a while back using the app Flamora Go um, and yeah I just I just thought you know what let me do it again let me show you guys um, and you guys know that I will always consider myself a YouTube beginner I believe that we must stand together um, I want to share my knowledge I want to share the tools that I use so I think I just feel like I should share this with you guys and you know, because gatekeeping is a no-no like why should you gatekeep like share your knowledge you know so Flamora Go is an easy to use video editing app with many advanced features and I think there are many ways to express your creativity because I believe that if your video editing app is limiting your creativity it really should not like no so that's why i think flamora go is really a great mobile app to create videos whether it be for youtube tiktok instagram facebook you name it um and flamora go is your girl or your guy or your your friend or whatever <laughs> but i really just think that um it's a good app to use. And if you're new to Flamora Go, you can enjoy a three-day free license period with no watermark. And yeah, I think this is great because you can test out the cool features properly. And yeah, so I think now I am going to share how I edit my YouTube videos with Flamora Go. And I will include my favorite features um, that I just love using so yeah let us get right into it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app Flamora Go and as you guys can see when you open up the app there is a page filled with materials with cool effects filters stickers um, transitions and music options and there are templates that have already been created and designed for you as you guys can see okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add a new project as you guys can see you have access to all your albums so i'm just gonna add two of the videos that i want to edit and when you view your videos this is how it will look there is a timeline available which is really just beneficial when it comes to editing because when it comes to trimming specifically it's easier to see where you want to trim your video so if you scroll down you can see that there are many tools available but i'm gonna go ahead and press onto the video and show you guys that there are more tools available however i think my favorite tool is the one above I'm just gonna show you guys how I use these tools to trim my video. So let's say I want to trim my video at 30 seconds. I can just use that button and it just makes life easier. I don't have to drag the video to a point where I want to trim the video. I can also do it in the beginning as you guys can see. And I can also split it in between the video and choose a part that I want to cut or delete so I think it just makes life easier because if you are trying to edit you know very quickly it can be helpful so as you guys can see the app will guide you so I'm gonna go ahead and press that button and you'll see that there are many transitions that are available I think that it's cool how they give you an option to create your favorite transitions. Um, I think that is very cool to have as well.
okay moving on to a tool that i like to use which is speed so as you guys can see there is an option to use the curve shifting effect where they give you all different types however you can also customize your own speed effect um so as you guys can see i'm just adding and deleting you can also reset wherever you want your video to you know increase its speed or even slow down its speed as well okay i think at this point i was exaggerating a little bit because i really wanted to show you guys how it is really up to you um i would never edit like this but it is honestly up to you and what you want your video to look like there's also always an option to just use the normal speed editing tool where you can go up to 10 to a speed of 10 or 0.1 Moving on to the music tool. So when you open up the music tool, you guys will be able to see that there is a range of royal free music that is available to you and you have access to your files, airdropped, um, you can extract sounds and you have access to your iTunes music. So you also have access to sound effects as you guys can see. A range of sound effects and you can again pick the ones that you like and yeah just press the like button and there you go I want to let you guys in on how I find my music for my YouTube videos so what I do is is I use the extract tool um, after I have screen recorded a sound that I would like to use I find it on YouTube TikTok wherever it be and this is how I do it so yeah that was a sound that I recently found and screen recorded so as you guys can see you can also increase the volume um, whatever you you want to do speed the song up whatever you would like to do you can do it and you can also record voiceovers as well on top of the audio sound so i think it's just nice to browse through so like even with the stickers look at the different sticker options text options emojis i think i like options give me options because why not and there are filters that are available as you guys can see i think using filters sometimes creates a different atmosphere to your videos i don't know it's something about them okay and moving on to the pip effect as you guys can see you can add a video on top of your video i think that is cool you can also add images if you'd like to as you guys can see i'm just selecting an image as an example so it's a very random image but you can also just increase the duration of the image as well which is awesome so you can also have the option to add the materials that are available to you on the app such as the green screen the ending which is like the outro and the intro of your videos there are effects as well that you can use as you guys can see i was just playing around and just again i feel as though editing should be fun um i don't think you should be you know put into a box on you know on how to edit like no this is your video do what you want to do and be creative so as you guys can see there are options light music different effects so one of my other favorite tool is motion i love this i think i'm gonna start using it more it's such a cool way to you know 
do your transitions i think it is just i've never seen it on other apps so this is very cool it reminds me of like i don't know the ending of movies i don't know why but it just i like i think especially this one like i don't know it's something about it i like that um i think i'm gonna start using it more and see if i enjoy using it but i think i will so i really like the motion tool i think it's a really interesting way to you know transition your videos So one of my other favorite tools is the reverse tool and I've used it in one of my vlogs. If you are a loyal subscriber, you'd know I use it with the speed tool and it just creates this like, you know, backwards, um, reverse like effects that I like. Um, and yeah, it's a cool way to start or end your videos. Okay, before this video ends, I just wanted to let you guys know that Flamora Go is offering a 2022 endless summer vlog campaign where you can film a video between 30 seconds to 3 minutes sharing your beautiful and amazing moments of your summer in 2022 and you can share this video on YouTube, TikTok or Instagram and you can do this by using any effects, stickers or any other editing resources that are available on Flamora Go. The rewards include a DJI Pocket 2 or a DJI OM5 or a Flamora Go annual license. So the official accounts of Flamora Go will give you guys a more in-depth explanation on the rules of this campaign. So make sure to follow those accounts. And sadly, we reached the end of today's video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to comment down below anything that you'd like to say. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed this video, of course. And